Father, I have news. Where is he? What have you done with him? It is your decision, not mine. Hmm? You have the power, not me. Hmm. You like power, don't you? Well, I only like it because it allows me to do good things. Really? <laughs> I think I've used my power rather well. For example, I've used it to unite all the small, squabbling kingdoms of England into a single entity now capable of defending itself against any who might come to threaten or destroy it. Like me. I thought you came in search of good farming lands and that you wanted to find some way that our peoples could live together and mutually benefit. Oh, so you thought by killing all of my people that was mutually beneficial. Hmm. No, no, of course not. I've already expressed my deep regret. Fact is, it was the right idea at the wrong time. But I firmly and I absolutely believe that such accommodations will come to pass. Perhaps even in my grandson's time, in Alfred's time. What do you want me to say? The truth. My people, for the people outside of this villa, for most of them inside of it too, for that matter, you are the most dangerous man on this earth.
Decide your fate. Yes. <laughs> you sound like one of our gods. Well, I'm not a god. God forbid. <clears throat> the seer told me that I am fated to die the day the blind man sees me. That's you. You have to kill me. Must we talk of death? Death has been uppermost on my mind for a long time. You Vikings are incorrigible. You emerge from the womb with only one thing on your mind. How to die. <sighs> what of all the things in between? Are you talking about women? If your God does not exist. My dear friend, what are you talking about? Your God. My gods. What if they don't exist? Well, if God or the gods don't exist, then nothing has meaning. Or well, everything has meaning. What on earth does that mean? Why do you need your God? Well, if there were no gods, then anyone could do anything and nothing would matter. You could do as you liked and nothing would be real and nothing would have meaning or, or value. So even if the gods don't exist, it's still necessary to have them. If they don't exist, then they don't exist. We have to live with it. Ah, yes, but you don't. You don't live with it. You only think of death. You only think uh, of Valhalla. And all you think about is heaven. Which, which seems like a ridiculous place. Where everybody is always happy. Valhalla is ridiculous. All the dead warriors get to fight again in the courtyard each morning and kill each other again. <laughs> and then they all have supper together. <laughs> and they are both. Athelstan was a man of God. And now he is dead. Tell me what happened. Floki killed him. So your gods killed him? No, Floki killed him out of jealousy. Because I loved Athelstan more than him. <laughs> I was jealous too. When he chose to go back with you. I felt his loss grievously, as if he'd torn part of myself away from myself. He left because he loved me more. Well then, you should have protected him. We didn't need protecting. What does that mean? We needed him. 
He'd never needed us. If he stayed here with me, he'd still be alive. He had enemies here also. He belonged here with me. I would have protected him. Who are you to say where he belonged? He chose to be with me. He chose his path, and that was with me. I am not to blame. Now who's the one who's not being honest? Tell me this. Do you think he's with your gods? Or with mine? It doesn't matter. His death is on my conscience, not yours. And yours will be on mine. Even so. <laughs>